All right, so we're in our demo bot here, and I'm just going to explain to you what questions and answers are. So on every dialogue page, you're able to quick click this plus button here, and you're able to type in some keywords that will pull up this dialogue. Now, what you want to do is you want to think about how you're going to use this, and I'm going to show you that right now. So again as I said every dialogue has this option and you can add the add the keywords here but you can also go over here into Q&A and it's going to list all of the Q&A's that you have so for example on this one I have um, what do you like to eat and bananas and then I have some responses here and you can have multiple responses which is cool because you can click this random button here and then the bot will respond randomly with one of these so it kind of gives your bot you know it's not going to be sending the same thing back every time um, this one we've got are you a monkey and monkey so if those keywords get typed it responds with this and then this one has is free guide because we have a free guide in this demo and we're sending them to the actual free guide so if someone types in free guide it'll take them to the free guide. Um, if someone types in speakers, it'll take them to speakers. And I'm gonna show you how this works. Now over here you have unanswered questions. So every person that types something in to your bot, the question's gonna be recorded over here and it's gonna show you how many times. So let's just say you're getting a question you know, over and over that you don't have a response for. You can go in here and create a new question and answer it pops it up here at the top and you can write that question and then create an answer for it and you hit this drop down you can go to dialogue or text so that's a way for you know your bot to get smarter you know as you, more and more subscribers as more and more people are using it and the other thing is the more keywords that you add within here you can add multiple keywords what is you know uh, your favorite food and the more questions you add in here mobile monkeys NLP engine will go through and learn you know kind of broadly match all of these keywords and learn if there's anything related to this group of keywords it's going to respond accordingly and you don't have to have you know if they type favorite food then it's going to come up but they don't have to type your favorite food or what do you like to eat they don't have to type everything in there so that's pretty cool too so let's go to a demo and i'll show you how this works we're going to go to the welcome page we're going to test this dialogue and we're going to go to our our demo fan page here so this is the welcome page and if I type in here monkey you're gonna see that it responds with yes and the smart one and and this is very important when you're using the text response you wanna tell them give them an option either ask another question or type home for the main menu because if you don't put this they're just going to be sitting there and they may not know what to do next or how to get you know back to the menu or wherever they want to go so if I type home it's going to take me back to the main menu because I've set that Q&A for home so now I'm going to type what do you like to eat you're gonna say I love bananas ask another question or type home for the main menu you know and you can come up with any kind of you know way that you wanna ask this or you wanna end this um, but always give them an option now I'm going to type free ticket because this is going to take me to you know so there's an option here for free ticket so someone may not push that button they may just type free ticket for whatever reason so when they type free ticket, it's going to take them to the free ticket dialogue. 
So it's very important that each dialog you put different keywords you think someone might type, then that will get them into you know the place that they need to be. Now one other way you can use this, which I really like, is I've created a Q&A demo here. One of the uh, restrictions you have is you can only have three, three options to a text box. So let's say you want, let's say you have six options. Well, a way you can do that is you can create a text box like this and you can say, you know, welcome, please type in one of the options below. And you can have a whole list of options here. And if someone types this in, then it's going to go, you know, to where they want to go. So let me just show you how this works. It's kind of a workaround for, you know, if you have multiple options. So we're going to go back here. So welcome, Craig. Please type one of the options below. And if I type free guide, it's going to take me to the free guide. Thanks, Craig. Click the button below to access your guide. If I type uh, event, it's going to take me to the event. So as you can see, by combining the question and answers with each of your dialogue pages, you're able to give your users ways, different ways to interact with your bot. Um, another thing you could do is on your default dialogue, when someone for some reason types something in and you don't have a question and answer for it, it's going to take them here. You could also have, sorry, you type something in that I don't have an answer for. Uh, type in one of the options below and then that Q&A demo that I created, you could put a list of all the pages that way. So that's another way, you know, you could get people um, back into the flow who somehow type something and we're sent to the default menu. All right, so that's the question and answers and NLP. If you have any questions about it, you can post to our group or you can send a message to support at mobilemonkey.com. Thanks.